Good evening. Tonight, as our North Shore Hebrew Academy family comes together on this truly special milestone, our Diamond Jubilee anniversary, and celebrates our 60-year tradition of excellence in education, we honor in video tribute our longtime honorary dean, Rabbi Dr. Ephraim and Rebetzin Elaine Wolf, our longtime principal, Rabbi Nathan Horowitz, and our longtime dean of students, Rabbi Aaron Sternberg, all of blessed memory. These legends were not only instrumental in making our yeshiva the vitally important institution that serves our community families, but they also had a profound and positive life-changing influence on so many in our community. Enjoy the tribute. Rabbi Wolf was the heart and soul and pioneer of the North Shore Hebrew Academy. He was interested in every single educational aspect. It was his life, it was his career, it was his major love. My father, Rabbi Ephraim Wolf, along with my mother, Elaine Wolf, came to Great Neck in 1956 at the invitation of Solomon Goldwyn, who was the president of the synagogue and actually the builder of the synagogue at that time. When he came to Great Neck as the rabbi, he came as well as the founding principal of the North Shore Hebrew Academy. One of the memories that I have of Rabbi Wolf in the North Shore Hebrew Academy is how Rabbi Wolf would love to walk in the hallways and to see the children. He seemed to get a tremendous sense of fulfillment uh, just from watching those children. What made Rabbi and Mrs. Wolf so special in the Great Neck community and so special in the North Shore Hebrew Academy was their warmth and their caring way. And that it was important to take the time to be kind and to be patient and to listen. These were just basic uh, midot that were very important in the school at the very beginning. And I know that they're very important in the school now. Rabbi Wolf was probably the biggest salesman that North Shore Hebrew Academy had. His love for people that made him such a convincing spokesman. Mrs. Wolf, Robinson Wolf, Elaine as we called her, was a major support in his endeavors. She had a job, she was a teacher at Baker Hill School, but she was also an active Robinson. Rabbi Wolf was very special in the fact that both he and his Robinson Elaine Wolf uh, they both showed a tremendous love for Jewish education. And as much as they did with the Great Neck Synagogue, and I know how proud they were of all of that, the most important thing they felt was that they created an institution of Jewish learning here in our community. It's a wonderful legacy for all of us. I met Rabbi Horowitz a couple of years ago when I was around 15, and I was in a summer camp called Camp Sherwin. 25 years later, when I got involved in North Shore Hebrew Academy, and he was the principal of the school. And when I worked very closely with him while I was president for a number of years, I came to realize that he was an extremely loving man. He absolutely cared 100% for the well-being of the kids. He knew everybody's name. He watched them get on and off the bus and really cared to make sure that they became, in his words, a real mensch. Rabbi Horowitz was my principal from toddler through eighth grade. He was the principal for my siblings as well. He knew everyone, not just by name, but he knew our personalities. He knew our families, and he really cared about each one of us. I met Rabbi Horowitz when I first transferred into North Shore Hebrew Academy. One thing I'll always remember was his tremendous handshake. I remember my hand would get lost in his. And he had a, a smile that just sent warmth throughout the room. I have very warm and deep feelings about Rabbi Horowitz, largely because at the time of his hiring, my father was the president of the school, and they formed a very deep bond. If I had the opportunity to say something to Rabbi Horowitz today, it would be thank you. Thank you for treating us like your own children, 
by instilling within us a love of Yiddishkeit, of learning, of academics that has benefited us throughout our lives. Rabbi Horowitz always had a very famous line I think every child knew. If you ever got caught in the hallway, his line was, Woe is you! What are you doing in the hallways? Get back to class! But if you took a close look, he always had a little smirk on the side of his face. He loved everybody. He never got mad. His major accomplishment is in the fact that many of the students in Great Neck who perhaps came from homes where parents were not necessarily religiously committed, I think my father launched them and instilled in them a great love for Yiddishkeit so that many of them are actively involved in Jewish communities and raising wonderful families. And that is, in, to no small degree, to the credit of my, of my beloved father. When I first started teaching at the Neusher Hebrew Academy, Rabbi Sternberg was already a mainstay. He was what Judaism represented to these kids. He had dignity, they knew he was meticulous in his observance of the mitzvot, but they also knew him as the one who could hit a home run at the Lagbomer picnic. He was the one who understood them and who spoke so kindly to them and who represented honesty and ethics, and he was what Judaism was supposed to be. Rabbi Sternberg was a very unique educator. He was always soft-spoken, but he always made his points clear. He really taught us how to learn. My father's role at North Shore Hebrew Academy was the Hebrew teacher for the eighth grade initially. He soon became the Rebbe for the students. In his later years, he became the Dean of the students. These were the official roles that he played. Unofficially, he was also the bar mitzvah teacher. Rabbi Sternberg also taught me my bar mitzvah parsha. He was very methodical and meticulous in the way he taught each one of us. So much so that decades later, I was actually able to teach my own two boys for their bar mitzvah. Rabbi Sternberg stands out because of his humanity. He had a beautiful soul, and that was exemplified in every aspect of his behavior. And he clearly taught in our school because he felt it was important to bring people closer to Judaism. He was truly a religious, pious man in all sense of the word. And he definitely helped to bring real Yiddishkeit to Great Neck and to the North Shore Hebrew Academy. I had the privilege of having Rabbi Sternberg in sixth and eighth grade and uh, he was a great influence on my life and I think the life of many of the children at the North Shore Hebrew Academy. On the 60th anniversary of the North Shore Hebrew Academy, I would like them to look back with pride and see how much they've grown in the past 60 years from a very, very small school to a large school that has influenced hundreds and thousands of students and help them become proud Jews and proud members of society. This being the 60th year of the North Shore Hebrew Academy is very special because it's not just a school, but it's a family. I'm so grateful to be involved in this special 60th anniversary dinner. I've been reaching out to many alumni who I grew up with and went to school with, and the common theme is they feel like they're reconnecting with their family. That's truly what makes North Shore Hebrew Academy such a unique school. It's a warm environment, and at the same time, we're getting a top academic education. North Shore Hebrew Academy, you're 60 years old, and we look forward to the next 60. Mazel tov. We can be very proud that this is the 60th year of the North Shore Hebrew Academy that is now educating its third generation of families I wish them mazel tov on these 60 years and when they go from strength to strength. Yeah.